Hello everyone, welcome back to this channel. So today we will continue our last class that is learning NumPy array. If you have not seen the previous video, please watch that first. Okay, let's start today's class. First, I want to generate some random values. So I want an array which will have three rows, two columns and all the numbers will be randomly generated. Okay, now in that scenario, I have to use random.random .random function and I have to provide the shape. Then see, it will give me an array, three rows, two columns and all the numbers are randomly generated. But suppose I want these numbers to follow standard normal distribution. There are different types of distribution, but this distribution, the standard normal distribution means that it ha must have mean value of 0 and standard deviation of 1. Now simple same here but the function is random dot rand in. Okay. Now if I run this again I will get some values which have mean 0 and standard deviation 1. That means these values are following standard normal distribution. When you will do machine learning project you will uh, come across where you may need this kind of uh, arrays so you can create by using this ready-made functions of numpy fine now suppose i want some normal random integers then what can i do i have uh, retained shape 2 comma 3 and now the function is random dot randint randint means it will generate integer values but randomly okay Low limit, I have just provided some limits. Low limit means it will start from 1. High limit plus 1 because the last one is ex excluded. So I want it to be up to 10. And size means whatever I have provided that I want 2 rows, 3 columns. Now let me run this one. See, these are all integers but randomly generated. And all of them following the rules. Low limit 1, high limit 10 see here so within 1 to 10 all the numbers are randomly generated following the same okay so you have learned three uh, functions random dot random random dot random random dot random fine now let's understand some trigonometric functions we can do using numpy first uh, how we can convert an angle to radians let me show you first Suppose I draw a circle. Consider this as a circle, please. Now, these are the radius. This is a radius. This is a radius. Okay, nice radius. Now, tell me what is the angle value? That is 90 degree, or we can say this is pi by 2. What is the value for this one? Same pi by 2. What is the value for the next one? like this one pi by 2 what is the value for this one pi by 2 so if i take this total one what is the value that is pi because pi by 2 plus pi by 2 180 degree now what is the value for this one this one is also pi that is 180 degree so you can say that this is 90 degrees or pi by 2 total 180 degree but the complete circle this is pi plus pi that is 2 pi fine so now let's see this one. First, I want to calculate sine of 90 degree. Like I want to calculate sine value of 90 degree. Okay. Now you cannot directly put the degrees. Instead, you have to convert it into radians. And these are the radians value. Okay. Now suppose I write 180 degree. This is degree equals to pi no doubt with that you can see here this is 180 degree so this is equals to pi because 360 degree 2 pi 180 degree pi so i can write 90 degree equals to pi by 2 so i have converted the angle into radians now i want the value of sine of pi by 2 okay now see how we can write this in numpy here i have written angle in radians you can write anything then i have written 90 degree i want to calculate sine of 90 degree 
first i have to convert it into radians so i have converted the 90 into radians here the radian value is stored now i have written the function np dot sign inside angle in radians a radian value now if i calculate the sine value see it will show me sine of 90 you know the value sine 90 that is 1 what is the value of sine 0 it's 0 see here we will check 0 it is converted in radian np dot sine of radians that means 0 so i can get the value of sine 0 that is 0, 0.0 clear so you understand this one this is the what happening in the background and this is in a single line you just calculate these things by using numpy array fine now value for inverse functions you know inverse functions inverse functions mean suppose i want sin inverse of sin inverse of which value i have taken here 1 okay 1 1 means 90 degree we have just checked so we want sin inverse of 1 how to calculate it mathematically first we consider it as theta we consider sin inverse equals to theta so we can write sin of theta equals to 1 if it comes here it will go this side no no issues so we want the value of theta which is equals to 1 for which value of theta it is equals to 1 we have just seen also but you should know also that this is 90 degree so theta means simply 90 degree now if we convert it into radian this will be pi by 2 check i told you here this one 90 degree angle pi by 2 so this is the radian value now suppose what is the value of pi 3.14 we all know these things now divided by 2 so we can get 1.57 fine let me run this one see here i have taken one i want the value 1.57 okay so wh which function do you need to do these things arc sign simple put the arc sign functions and give the value you want to know then it will give you the radian value fine no issues with that if you want to check with something else zero what will be the answer sine inverse of zero let me show you this one too i want sine inverse of zero that is what our question is now we consider that this is equals to theta so we can write just simple sine theta equals to zero so if sine theta equals to zero that means which value of theta is equals to zero that is zero simple so let me run this one the answer is zero so by using this function you can get the inverse also inverse of any simple you put cos you put tan see the value and then check whether it's working or not it will work these are simple single line numpy functions fine now you can convert the angle to degrees we have already learned how to do this so you just put any value uh, then convert it into degree okay now see here i put zero here that's why the value is in degree zero if i give one then it will be 1.57 here you can see that the value is in degree 90 degree so sine 90 equals to 1 fine now let's do the next part that is uh, some statistical functions also we can apply by using numpy array here see i have generated a random array we have already learned that random dot randit uh, starting from 1 up to 100 last one will be excluded and i want 10 10 as a size now let me show you see here 10 numbers and randomly generated now if i want to calculate the median value of the array i'll just write a function called median it will give me the median value now how can i calculate percentile percentile if we want to calculate i have to use this function and if you want 25th percentile 75th percentile 50th percentile 100 percentile just by writing this function you can get the percentile of the data set for discovering the outliers percentile will help you a lot okay now next uh, the last one array comparison i have taken two arrays one two three one two four now what i want to compare them 
just check whether they are equal by giving the equal function whether they are not equal by giving the not equal function greater greater equal less equal okay simple use this function pass these two array and then if you try to print it will show you the result let me show you this is very very simple it will give you some boolean values whether equal or not equal here just i have checked np dot equal array one array two so one one equal two two equal three four not equal that means true true false clear here you can check less equal so one one that will be false sorry less than or equal so one one that is true because they are equal two two equal three four three less than four yes true so in every case this is true the same way you just check for others also so you can just simply check each element comparison using numpy array functions okay so we have completed the basic things of numpy array but there are many other functions but if you understand the basic then you will be able to apply others also okay i happy learning